the story, Alan. By heart. There is nothing organically wrong with my eyes. The blindness is all in my head. I just want you to re-emphasize that before you leave us. Now, you know the fire was accidental. You didn't leave the paint cans and thinner next to the heater deliberately that night. You've recognized your resentment of your father and his close relationship with your sister which accounts for your partial recovery. A full recovery depends on conquering your guilt feelings about your father's death, your sister's disfigurement. Well, perhaps, perhaps this return home will help. I hope so. I've been here for eight months now. Yeah, just in case. Oh, it's the name of a colleague in your town, Dr. Herbert Greeno. I'll forward him a copy of your history. And um, try using a tape recorder. Verbalize the small problems. Listen to your own words. It may help more than you think. Well, good luck, Alan. Yes? Oh, yes, very good. He's just leaving. Your sister's waiting for you. Right on time. Someday, somewhere, Catherine will be late and the world will shatter. 
You're still tense about seeing her. It's not your ordinary family reunion. She doesn't blame you for her disfigurement. The scar is there. But hidden. The plastic device she wears is very successful. It's barely noticeable. You mustn't make it worse than it really is. That's right. Yeah, I can smell it on your plane. You'll be back. Oh, yes, you will. Look at your run. You'll be back, all right. Soon. No? Well, here it is, the old street. How does it look? It feels better than the state hospital. What would it look? It's a stick. The kids must have left it. Catherine! Oh, Catherine! Catherine! Maya, how is that? Oh. Well, he's fine, dear. Olive, why don't you wait and come back tomorrow? The house is so cold, but I just can't afford to heat it. There's a heater in your room. I'll show you. your uh, tape recorder. It's right where you left it. Well, I'll, I'll go change and start dinner, okay? You're standing there, worrying about me being here. It's true, blindness does make you more sensitive to things. I can take care of myself. Catherine. All these months I've been waiting to tell you how sorry I am. Well, I'm, I'm making something festive for dinner. For homecoming. I'll call up when it's ready.
lamp over there. Well, I've changed things around. Were you looking for something? No, just uh, trying to get the feel of the house again, I suppose. But dinner's nearly ready. I don't remember that. It's father's desk. I'm storing his things here for the foundation. The Raymond Colley Foundation. We're raising money for a memorial wing in the new library. Your labors in his behalf are never done, are they? Um, this is Mother. Yes. And, uh, who's this? Oh, that's Eric. I don't know why I keep it. I haven't heard from him in months. He went to Australia just after the fire. To make his fortune, he said. I suppose he married someone over there. Well, I guess it's safe to say it then. Uh, I never really did like him much. I know. It's warm in the kitchen. I'm going to be all right here. I just want to be by myself for a while. ever since you left, so we could keep the house. Mm -hmm. My salary at the university. Well, you know what that is. I know your first day home having someone come. I'd have arranged it differently if I could. This boy, what's he like? Well, he's new this semester. His name is Harold Dennis. And he's quiet, really quiet. He's had some sort of injury to his throat. He barely speaks above a whisper. Then we'll have our afflictions in common, won't we? He's going to be here during the lunch hour. I can come home so you won't have to be alone with him. No, no. He sounds harmless. I'll be all right. I'm going to be late. Perhaps my apprehensions are unfounded. What do I care how he looks at me or what he thinks of me, this student? This is a house. It's not a courtroom. I'm not on trial here. It's upstairs.
first door on the left. you want now? It's me, Alan. I decided to come back after all. I'm sorry I didn't get back soon enough, but he's going to take it. I ran into him outside and he's going to take it. He even gave me the first month's rent. Where's that draft coming from? Is something open? you so much having him here? Well, I do wish... Wish what? That we could wait just a little bit. It's difficult with strangers. I thought it would be just us. I'm going up. He won't be in the house that much. He has a job in the cafeteria and his classes. He'll only be here to sleep. I'll be all right. Yes. What? Oh, yes, of course. How are you? What? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Yes, I know. What? Oh, yes, of course I will. No, no, it, it won't upset things that much. What? Yes, I will. I'm expecting to hear from you. Yes. No. No, it was, uh, it was Harold Dennis. He wants to move in tomorrow instead of Saturday. I said he could. You sounded upset. No. Well, 
I made a welcome home present for you. Look, it's a coffee cake right out of the oven. I hope it's still hot. I can smell it. It smells good. Well, we'll mix some then, and we can have a cup of coffee. Uh, uh, actually, I've just, uh, I've just had breakfast. I'll just leave it right there until later. Thank you. Olive, thank you very much. If you want someone to do things for you, I'd, I'd be glad to uh, type up your lecture notes for you. I'm not lecturing just now. I'm, uh, I'm blind, remember? Perhaps you'd like me to drive you somewhere. No, no. If you, uh, if you change your mind, though, I'm, I'm home almost all the time. Maybe I should wash the dishes. Oh, I can do them. Actually, it's, uh, it's very good for me to, to do things. Oh, all right, but if you need anything, you, you, you call me, okay? All right. Bye. Before I go to bed? No, thank you. You remember our rumor will be arriving. Don't be alarmed if you hear him. know about him? Anything? He must have brought everything he owns under one arm. What did you tell him about me? About you? Just that you can't see too well. I didn't elaborate. He probably knows it all anyway. I, I doubt it. I, he has his own problems. I doubt he'd be interested. Why did he sneak down the back stairs and scare me the other day? He's quiet, all right. He's too quiet. I don't want him here. I can't put him out now. He's paid in advance. Well, Alan... Breakfast is almost ready whenever you want to come down.
get used to him. washing my hair, or I would have been over sooner. Oh, were you going to make lunch? I'm so glad you called me, Alan. I thought maybe you didn't want to see me anymore. Oh, is chicken noodle okay? Okay. It's not that I didn't want to see you, Olive. It's just, well, it takes time to, to get adjusted, you know, with everything changed. Oh, I'm not changed. Well, I am. I'm blind, and coming back here, living like this, taking in rumors as if we were destitute, which we are. Have you, uh, have you seen this rumor of ours? No. No, I haven't. Try to get a look at him. Will you, uh, talk to him, tell me what he's like? Why? I don't like him. There's something wrong about it. Wrong? Well, what do you mean? I don't know. I, I don't know. I, he wants to trick me into something. Oh, Alan, I really... You know, Alan, you haven't been out of this old house since you've come home. And you really should get out of it. No. Look, Alan, I'm, I'm, um, I'm an interested party around here, whether you like it or not. And I'm not going to let you get all closed up inside of yourself, inside of this house. You've got to get out into the world. Show Catherine she's wrong. Wrong? Wrong about what? You know, Alan, C Catherine has uh, had to make adjustments, too. She was devoted to your father. She really worshipped him. And slaved for him and gave up a chance to get married for him? Yes, well, he was a great man. Great in his accomplishments. Catherine thinks I should have stayed in the hospital, doesn't she? She thinks, um, maybe you came home so soon, but I don't. Let's show her that she's wrong, all right, Alan? I've got to go downtown and get some things. Just ride along with me. Please. You, you've really got to, you know, you must. No, it's too soon. What are you afraid of? Alan, why don't you have um, some soup? And uh, then you can bundle up. It's cold outside, you know, but it's very bright and sunny. I can't believe it was freezing last night. I have to uh, stop by campus just for a minute to return some books.
come with me? I'll be right back. Wouldn't it be better if you told me what happened? Would it you feel better? It was him. He saw me in the car. Who? Harold Dennis? He called me by name. Olive told me you said I shouldn't have come home. Alan, I'm not going to listen to any childish recrimination. I haven't... I'm sorry, but my nerves get a little worn, too, you know. Look, maybe we should talk to that doctor here in town, Dr. Greeno. It can't do any harm to talk to someone professional. Someone who could send me back to the hospital? Alan, I'm trying to be calm about this, and I warn you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll clean it up. to a, a new Beethoven. It's a peace offering, Alan. Would you forgive me for yesterday? I was stupid to insist. I didn't realize what you were going through. Well, I, I, I panicked, that's all. Oh, it was my fault. Don't blame yourself. May I join you for coffee? Sure. I wonder, has uh, Catherine seen Eric Walters yet? Eric's in Australia. No, he's back. I, I saw him yesterday. At the garage. He was looking for work. Oh, Catherine must have seen him. No. 
Well, I get... Wait a minute. There was a call. Catherine said it was the rumor, but it wasn't. And she sounded upset. And the next day, he moved in. You haven't seen our mysterious guest yet, have you? He leaves before daybreak, returns after dark. You'd think he didn't want to be seen, wouldn't you? What are you talking about? Maybe a secret living arrangement in a narrow-minded university town. I wonder. Just for the record, in case anybody thinks I'm only imagining things, I believe there is no Harold Dennis, no student rumor. I believe that Eric Walters is living here pretending to be Harold Dennis. And just in case, I think Eric wants to do me harm. His house and his property are valuable. And they're half mine. <laughs> This, um, Harold Dennis, what department did you say he was majoring in? I, um, I think he said biology. I imagine he looks like Eric. Eric? Why should you think that? Well, he's blonde, you said, like Eric. Why didn't you tell me that Eric's back in town? He's not. Olive must be seeing things again. Olive saw Eric when? Yesterday, just for a moment. You mean he hasn't gotten in touch with you, huh? That's hard to believe. This, uh, Harold Dennis, doesn't he mind living in the same house with a crazy blind man? Especially after yesterday's incident on campus. I doubt he knows of it. Maybe I should have a little talk with him. Try to get to know him. What do you think?
door locked. Because I locked it. I have to go. Everything's ready for breakfast. You could manage by yourself, all right? I manage best that way. I'll see you this evening. tried to pull me down the stairs last night. It would have looked like an accident. But I need proof. I need proof that he's trying to hurt me. Sometimes it takes a lie to get people to see the truth. He tried to pull me down those stairs last night. He did. I'm not trying to kill myself. Look, Alan, Eric is not staying in this house. Catherine would have told me. I would have seen him. There's nobody here but that student. You mean you would have seen Eric, but you haven't seen the student? Isn't that unlikely? Why won't you believe me? Olive, this student, he keeps his door locked and looks after his room himself. He's hiding something there. He's got to be. Olive. There's a spare key in Catherine's room, in the chest. Go get it. Olive, you've got to help me. You've got to help me prove that I'm right. You said you'd do anything to help me. Remember? of your father, Roots of Philosophy. Oh, and it's inscribed. No, 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 it isn't. It's just a, uh, it's just a signature. Wh whose name is it? Whose is it, Olive? Harold Dennis. That's all it says, Harold Dennis. told you about it already? Shouldn't she? Alan. I know. I'm always creating monsters in my mind. Okay. Uh, I understand that now, and I'm going to stop it. I'm going to get back to my music. Alan, I called Dr. Greeno. Well, there was the accident, and now this. I felt I had to. It does rather fall to me. I didn't want to. Catherine, I didn't force you to go into that room that night. I tried to stop you. If your face got burned... When did I ever blame you? Why didn't you want me to get out of the hospital? Why are you so anxious to get me back? I'm anxious for you to get well, and you're not getting well here in this house. Look, at least talk to Dr. Greeno if he says you should go back. I'd rather go to hell. Be melodramatic. I can't be here to look after you. And plainly, you, you can't look after yourself. You're right, Catherine. You're always right. I can't stay here. That's clear. Then you see Dr. Greeno? Talk about 
about it in the morning. All right? All right. He can't hear you. He must have been out there for several hours. The important thing now is rest. I don't think we should try moving him to the hospital in this storm.
you're awake. Here. What? The pills. I don't want them. They make me feel so dopey. They also make you better. I want you well as soon as possible. Sooner well, sooner away. Oh, Olive will be over shortly. I'll try to be back early today. How's our rumor tonight? Oh, didn't you see him? He just came in. Oh, I missed him. You seem much better tonight. I was just thinking, um, when I go back to the hospital, oh, I'm resigned to it. Not reconciled, but resigned. Won't it seem a little odd to the neighbors, uh, the two of you living alone here together? Perhaps you won't go back and the problem won't arise. Good night. I'm glad you're better. I'm late again. Do you mind waiting for Olive to come get your breakfast? Our Catherine. Last night, did anything happen? Happen? What do you mean? I guess I was just writing my nightmares again. I've got to go.
State Hospital in Baker, please. Uh, to Dr. Robert Ellens in the psychiatric division. Yes, and hurry, please. It's urgent. Hello? Oh, yes, Mrs. Steele? Uh, Dr. Ellen's office, please. Hello? Hello, uh, this is Alan Colley. May I speak to the doctor, please? I have to speak to him. It's very urgent. I'm in... Oh, oh he's not. Oh, uh, well, wh when, when do you expect him? Oh, not until then. Uh, well, well, I could make the trip up there myself. Yes. Yes. Uh, are you sure that he'll be there then? All right. Uh, thank you. Uh, yes, goodbye. Uh, campus Cab Company, please. Yes, hello. Uh, will you send a cab to 988 University Avenue, please? piece of wood could have been lying there for months. The room was open. And Eric, why did he lie about leaving town? Well, he explained he changed his mind. I'm not imagining this, and I'm not dreaming. Olive, you're the only person I have to trust. You've got to believe me. The voice I heard... Was in a dream. Sometimes it was, not last night. I was in that room. Voice is on tape. It's on the machine. Olive, turn it on. Olive, please turn it on. OK. 
turn it off. No, no, leave it on. Our mysterious rumor. How do you know it oh, is Oh, because there? I know. Because. How do you know? Because. How do you know? Tell me. Because, um, he isn't, um, anybody. There never was a rumor. You just thought there was a rumor, and I promised Catherine I wouldn't discuss it with you. Alan, you must go back. You know that yourself, don't you? You're lying, Alan. Why are you... He was here. He was in this house. I showed him the room. I talked to him. Yes, yes, uh, that's true. Somebody did come to the house, but, but he, 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 he never came back. He never rented the room. Catherine decided not to rent the room. The book! The book with his name in it. Well, Alan, that was an old, old book that had been lying around this house. Uh, you must have seen that name on Why are you lying to me? What are you trying to do to me? Get out! Get out of this! Get out of this house! Get out! alive. Well, what are we going to do? <sighs> Leave him alone for now. I've had all I can stand of this. It's too late to call the hospital now, but first thing in the morning, I'm going to have them come for him. It's all I can do, Olive.
killed me. You wanted to kill me. Why? Because of your face? I had the scar taken away. But it was a mistake. The mark of your crime should have been left for you and for everyone to see. And there was no scar. No rumor. You wanted me back in that terrible place. Or dead. You killed one of the greatest men that ever lived. One of the greatest minds, deliberately! You murdered him! You murdered him! You murdered him! You murdered him! Murdered him! Murdered Progress that I can write this to you now. First, I must tell you there really was a Harold Dennis. He did come to the house that day and rented the room, but he called that night to say his mother had died and he wouldn't be moving in after all. It was then that I conceived the idea of impersonating you. I knew you were disturbed at the prospect of having a stranger in the house. Hi. Hi. I thought I heard you coming. How did the new class go? Well, music appreciation isn't the most challenging course in the curriculum, but it's a start. It's a very good one. Dinner be ready soon? Just about. I ask you and Olive to forgive me so that I can begin to forgive myself. And for another selfish reason. If my progress continues at its present rate, I should be able to meet the years hence. If, of course, you consent to take the proper steps on my behalf, knowing your generous nature and how unhappy you were here yourself, 